For today's Rant Friday, Vlog Driver rants about a website. It starts with a my, ends with a space, and may very well be the devil himself in internet form. So as I drive back home to Ashen for the 4th of July weekend, let me tell you a little something about MySpace. I had never been even remotely interested in MySpace. I'd never had a MySpace, and every time I visited MySpace to look at somebody else's profile, I always felt a little bit dirty afterwards. It's kind of like the leper of social networking sites. I didn't want to go anywhere near it. But if you've been watching my Bangy Giddy 408 videos, then you know that this last week, I did in fact go and start a MySpace account. For the sole purpose of sharing my music. That's it, that's all I'm using it for. Because I was on the site for no more than 10 minutes trying to set up this account and already I wanted to kill things. Now I will freely admit that the first screw up was mine and mine alone. I went in, I started this MySpace account, not realizing that if I wanted to share my music on MySpace, I had to start it as a musician's account. I didn't see the little thing to the right that said if you want to start this as a musician's account, click here. And once I found this out, I thought, okay, no big deal, I'll just delete this account, start all over again. Well, I don't know if there's anyone out there who's ever deleted a MySpace account. I can't imagine that there isn't, because this website really does suck. And I don't know if this is just exclusive to MySpace or if it's always this way. I don't know. If anyone's ever deleted an account for some website, you can let me know. I never have. This is the first time I've ever done this. But here's what happened. So I went in and I went in to cancel the account. And first of all, this is true of pretty much all websites. They always hide it. They always kind of put it in a place where you're not exactly going to find it easily. So the first time I told them I wanted to cancel the account, of course, they wanted to know why. Okay, that's understandable. They want to make sure that they keep people on the website, so they want to make improvements. They want to know why people are leaving. And so, yeah, I checked the answer that was appropriate, and I moved on. And they asked me again, are you sure you want to cancel your account with us? Yeah, I'm sure. They probably asked me this question a total of five or six times. So I went through the paces. Every time they asked me if I wanted to cancel the account, I said, yes, I want to cancel the account, MySpace. It's really not that difficult to believe that somebody wants to leave MySpace. And then finally, after all that, they said, okay, we've sent you an email. <sighs> so now I had to go and wait for the email. It took about 10 minutes for the email to show up, by the way. Wait for the email so that I could follow the link to once again confirm that yes, I did indeed want to cancel my MySpace account. They asked me two or three more times to confirm that I wanted to cancel my MySpace account. I mean, these people really can't comprehend that anyone would want to leave their site, can they? And again, I want to know, is this just MySpace? Are they just that egotistical? Or is it all websites that act this way? So finally, I got to the end of the line and I got a message that said, all right, you have successfully confirmed that you want to cancel your account. Your account will finally be canceled in 24 to 48 hours. What? After all that, after confirming that I want to cancel the account about 10 different times, I still have to wait two days before you actually do it? And normally that wouldn't bother me, but I had to wait to restart the account until they had canceled the old one. <sighs> so, that was my MySpace adventure. I was on the site for about 20 minutes and I loathe it even more than I already did. Before I just loathed it on principle, but now I have a reason. So I know that some of my subscribers surely have MySpace accounts, and some of you might love it, some of you might hate it as much as I do. Share with me some of your MySpace stories, whether they be good or bad. I'm assuming that most of them will be bad. Hope all of you who live in America have a good 4th of July weekend, and I hope all of you who don't live in America have a good, completely ordinary weekend. And I'll see you next time. Bye now.